So hello, we're talking to Irena Shantevska about her article for Contemporary Southeastern Europe on populism and popular culture in Serbia, looking at a particular case of uh, a kind of a charity, nationalist populist charity project in popular culture. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about the main kind of focus of your of your research uh, in your in your article. Uh, well, this article is uh, describing um, in a little more detail uh, the charity campaign Podigny uh, Mustupove or Let's uh, Raise the Tracts of St. George. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this is a, a pop cultural initiative in a way uh, to help restore the very important uh, 12th century monastery in uh, Giorgio Vistupoli in uh, Ras, um, in south of Serbia. Uh, a very important site for the Serbian medieval uh, culture because uh, the, the, the monastery was raised by the founder of the Serbian medieval uh, state, uh, Stefan Emanja. So, uh, being uh, in a um, uh, relatively neglected state uh, for a very long time, uh, when in 1999 uh, this uh, monastery was um, um, repopulated, so to speak, uh, when it uh, uh, began uh, to be um, inhabited by monks again and uh, began its uh, new life, so to speak, uh, then uh, this campaign was launched to somehow, um, uh, of course, to, to, to fund the, the restoration works for the monastery, but uh, uh, since uh, that uh, campaign uh, is practically something that uh, uh, has been um, lasting for um, almost uh, 17 years, it began, uh, it began a cultural phenomenon of some sort because uh, this kind of uh, campaigns usually have a limited uh, duration. And um, uh, concerning the uh, number and, um, um, so, so to speak, the, the, co the composition of, of the uh, participants in, in this campaign, um, I thought it, it, it uh, was uh, interesting to uh, somehow um, analyze uh, at least a part of uh, its output that I was particularly interested in while I was uh, working on my PhD in a thesis, and that is uh, its music video output. Mm -hmm. uh, since a large number of uh, particip uh, contributors to the charity campaign are musicians, uh, musicians of uh, practically uh, all kinds of uh, music genres, uh, from pop musicians to uh, uh, classical music uh, teachers at the music academy. Um, it's, uh, it, it was uh, interesting for me to somehow uh, connect the uh, musical, the visual, and uh, the overall uh, media communication of that campaign this particular segment of its output uh, through its music videos. So, so what are the main themes of these music videos uh, or, or the content? How would you identify, how would you characterize it? Uh, well, uh, actually I, I was uh, 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 trying to uh, somehow um, establish them as a particular uh, genre, a uh, particular niche in the music video production. Uh, observed in the, the overall, uh, as part of the overall picture of the uh, music video production in Serbia that I was researching uh, in my PhD. Uh, this campaign, this particular instance, uh, uh, somehow struck me as a, a really interesting case because uh, uh, it uh, somehow features, it has uh, throughout this uh, very long period that I mentioned, it established itself as a, a particular instance of an, um, so to speak, invented uh, traditions. Um, uh, if we look back uh, into the history of uh, music video um, in Serbia, let's say, 
uh, in the 1980s, of course, the music video uh, began uh, to be uh, very present as uh, uh, somehow a popular media form. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, uh, first on television, first on state television, and uh, since the uh, beginnings of the video era, the, the MTV uh, era, uh, happened in uh, Yugoslavia and in Serbia in the 1980s in a context of a, a socialist country, uh, we uh, did not have uh, really instances of music videos marking uh, religious holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you remember the uh, famous uh, Band-Aid uh, charity mm -hmm. campaign, that was in um, uh, when Bob Geldof, of course, uh, launched the, mm -hmm. the, the, the charity campaign for Ethiopia. Uh, they uh, recorded uh, the uh, uh, a uh, Christmas uh, right. uh, video. Uh, of course, um, uh, in Yugoslavia there was a response to this um, uh, campaign. Uh, there was also a Eurock mission which uh, somehow uh, contributed to Geldof's initiative. But uh, this uh, this uh, video was not uh, related to, to had nothing to do with Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With marking uh, religious holidays, it of course, was a, yeah. mm -hmm. a typical uh, Yugoslav uh, response to an um, uh, internationalist initiative mm -hmm. uh, aiming to help uh, uh, African, uh, mm -hmm. a friendly African uh, non-aligned mm -hmm. country. Right. So, um, uh, if we look at the uh, videos uh, that are produced by the campaign Podigny uh, Mustupove, we have uh, another uh, concept. Uh, 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 these videos are usually marking the, the main religious holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, they are recorded uh, usually uh, for Christmas and for Easter. And um, I tried to somehow follow the, uh, uh, the language of uh, the visual uh, communication of these videos and uh, to somehow uh, put them in a context of uh, uh, wider uh, social developments mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in Serbia particularly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, also you, you frame your article, of course, in the discussion about populism in Serbia, Serbia more general. So I'm just wondering, uh, how do these religious motives you mentioned link up to the larger debates about populism in Serbia? I mean, you refer to the categories which Neboj Popov introduced in his writings about the yes. topic. So, so how, how, how are those, how is this campaign a reflection of populism over this very long time period, which marks essentially the entire post Milosevic era of, of, of Serbian uh, recent history? Um, basically, um, this uh, uh, the, uh, um, uh, the, the 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 connection between uh, popul the Nemesha part of the, the debate uh, about populism and uh, the contemporary uh, voices of populism that I'm trying to uh, somehow locate on the television screens and on YouTube. Uh, are basically uh, the uh, the uh, relating uh, related to the identity politics of mm. the uh, post-socialist period. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, 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 this campaign and um, uh, its its uh, overall output. Uh, but uh, if we look at the music videos, uh, this uh, these notions are. Uh, again, uh, 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 focusing around the question of the uh, new construction of the new Serbian identity. Uh, what does it mean to be uh, uh, not only a citizen of Serbia, but uh, uh, somehow um, a member of the uh, Serbian community? Uh, after the breakup of Yugoslavia, mm -hmm. after the uh, abandoning of mm -hmm. the notion of Yugoslavia as a political project and uh, as a uh, somehow um, uh, 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 a multi multinational uh, political mm -hmm. uh, construct, so, right. so to speak. Uh, so. Uh, 
about uh, the uh, uh, since uh, the uh, music videos of the Podigo Mustupovic campaign is uh, mostly uh, addressing um, uh, the members of the uh, Serbian community identified as Christians, as Orthodox Christians, as uh, uh, somehow uh, members of a community that um, is uh, somehow seen as living um, uh, a cycle, uh, a life cycle which is uh, somehow um, um, organized around the main religious holidays, mm. uh, around the observing the uh, mm. for a while abandoned but somehow restored or uh, quasi restored yeah. uh, uh, religious uh, traditions uh, I see these uh, uh, the whole the overall campaign but uh, also this uh, particular segment that I was researching as, uh, as part of this uh, overall um, uh, concept mm. of a newly constructed uh, identity. Mm. Yes, thank you. I mean, this is, I think, what makes this article very interesting to look at this kind of micro case study, uh, which highlights these larger trends of. And I mentioned, I think, what you mentioned nicely is the the life cycle and the idea of rejuvenation of religious tradition and how they are linked to to national tradition. So these are, in a certain way, very much intertwined. So, uh, Irina, thank you very much for telling us a little bit about your article. Of course. A lot more detail in that in that article, uh, both on the concept of populism, popular culture, and this particular pro project, Podignum Mostubave. So, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Professor. Thank you.